How does crypto TDS work? TDS deduction on cryptos depends on your mode and medium of transaction. If you have crypto at your disposal and you are thinking of selling it off then from July 1st onwards you will have to pay 1% of tax deducted at source of the transaction value to the government. Now who will be liable to deduct this TDS depends on your mode and medium of transaction. So consider this if you are buying and selling through an exchange then no TDS will be deducted from the buyer on buying crypto using INR while the seller of the crypto will be liable to pay TDS the crypto exchange will deduct this amount and deposit it with income tax department the seller would be able to offset this 1% TDS from her or his total tax liability when he files for tax returns a TDS certificate will also be issued in due course however in a peer to peer direct buyer to seller transaction the buyer is required to deduct tax under section 194s of the income tax act the next important point to note is how you are selling whether it is in INR or another crypto if it is in rupees then the crypto exchange will deduct it from the seller but if the transaction is done in crypto pairs then 1% tds will be deducted from both the parties in respective coins and then converted to INR for example sale of 1 bitcoin from 10th ethereum will incur a deduction of 0.01 btc and 0.1 eth being 1% of sale value as tds the crypto that is deducted as tds will be liquidated to inr at the end of the day and this inr realized amount will be paid as tds to the government a newsletter from wazirx states if tds gets deducted in crypto users will be able to see the inr value of this tds in the trading report after 48 hours the tax would be deducted only if the consideration exceeds rupees 10000 for the financial year but in the case of individuals or hufs who are not into business or profession or are not subject to audit under the income tax this limit would be rupees 50000 Moreover TDS shall be charged on net consideration which is sale value after reducing charges and GST